with the front elevator, chain or belt to check that they are properly adjusted is when the third and fourth feed slats from the front slightly touch the feeder housing bottom or the slide rails. This particular machine, the belts are a little bit loose. To adjust these, there's the adjuster on the right and the left hand side of the feeder housing. Loosen the nut and make sure the washer becomes loose and then adjust the front roller forward or backwards to increase or decrease the tension on the chain or the belt. Then use the jacking bolt to tension the belt or chain and make sure the tension is correct on both the left and the right. Once this is done and you have a cruise pilot, don't forget to learn the zero throughput. On the left hand side and the right hand side we have on this particular machine we have the cruise pilot roller and sensor this with the spring loaded. Good idea to always keep an eye on these springs to make sure that they are the correct tension as well. So this will give you the best feedback through your machine to the automatics. At the rear of the, of the feeder housing is the drive pulley and the, behind the drive pulley is a clutch, a slip clutch. It is greasable. Please make sure you only grease it when it is required and don't put too much grease in there because the clutch will not become a clutch, it will become a slip. Um, the grease will impregnate into the clutch pads and it won't have the correct force. Underneath the combine, on a daily basis, it's always a good idea to raise the feeder housing up underneath and get in and make sure that all the any chaff, etc., is blown off in and around. It's always a good idea whenever you're doing any maintenance on the machine, blow it down and get the remaining material off the machine so that there's nothing lying about. 